Hey there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to add logo in your 2014 chart theme. So be sure that you already create a chart theme for your 2014 parent theme. And if you haven't done so, please feel free to check my other tutorial, which is called creating for 2014 chart theme. And if you have already chart theme, we would used my usual method to add the code inside uheader.php. I've created many tutorials about adding logo in default theme of WordPress in the past and uh, what I'm seeing now is creating logo in 2012 theme. So the method is not different but because 2014 now has sticky menu it would be a little bit tricky. You can either actually adding background image to your CSS file, but I prefer adding image inside your 2014 chart theme to stay organized. In case next time you want to change your logo, you can immediately find it and uh, replace the image. So let's get started. First is you need to go to this website, to Yahoo Smooth It, because we, we, we will compress our image uh, soon. So the next step is of course creating your image which I've already done so and save in my desktop called logo.png file. If I right click it and get info or properties in if you use Windows, you see that this image has dimension 100 times 45 pixels. So the 100 is width, the height is 44. Uh, my recommendation is that use the a height 44 pixels because I will explain later on but try to use this 44 as um, height and then uh, you see now the size is 1072 bytes it's around 1 kilobytes for this small image that's why we have to compress it so next is we go to our Firefox or your browser and then in this page we're going to upload our image to compress it to make the size smaller so you see now the size is around one kilobytes and open it to smash it and then now hit on smash button and you see now the source size is around one kilobytes and the result it's just 215 bytes and it saved 79 percent so imagine that can save your web server and loading speed and so forth so going to download smash image now and save file and in downloads folder just drag it to your desktop to uh, access your things so here going to double click it just to extract it and you know this is our uh, new logo so just delete all of this and going to send it to trust and rename it again as logo.bng okay so the next step is we're going to uh, upload this compress uh, image so go to your cPanel and where you install your WordPress and as usual go to your wp-content and then themes and here inside your child theme which I call 2014 child folder inside this we're going to upload that image inside images folder so here we're going to uh, click on new folder and name it as images to store this logo and inside images we're going to upload our logo.png browse and navigate to your desktop or wherever you save your image and hit open and it's quite fast because it's very small image so here we have our logo.png file Next is we go up one level and up one level again to go to 2014, the parent theme or original theme. Double click it and scroll until you find header.php. There it is. And then we're going to select it and copy this file to our 2014 chart as the name of my 2014 chart theme folder. You might have another name, but be sure you type or replace this folder as your 20. 14 chart name folder and I'm going to hit copy files to copy this header.php to my chart theme and then go up one level and look where your um, chart theme folder is there it is and double click it to see what inside and you see now the header.php is already copied in case that your header.php is not here yet you're going to copy again and be sure that the folder name is exactly the same. You can also use uh, FTP but my concentration is that 
if you have your WordPress site installed, you must have cPanel and everybody can use cPanel. It might look different than this, but I guess the uh, method is actually the same. So inside this uh, header of PHP, we're going to add the code. Select that and choose on code editor button on the top. Click edit. Going to resize the win uh, the font. So there it is. And now if we go back to our blog, we're going to replace this blog web six demo text to that uh, with that image. So what we can do is if you have Firebug, you can easily inspect that and see in what div or what class is here in what element is this text uh, inside your page. So as you can see now it's highlighted and this demo things, text things, is uh, inside a tag inside h1 subtitle. I'm going to look at site desk title later on in my header.php. So go back to our header.php and look at site dash title. There it is. Uh, it's here around this h1 class and we will add that code. So this line of code is actually displaying this blog web 6 demo text. So now if we say we want to comment it out, so I want to comment it out, hit enter for a few times to break down the code actually. So I want to comment it out now. Let's see what happened. So okay and I hit save changes and refresh my blog. What happened with that text? And sure enough it's now gone because that code is um, commented in that PHP file or it's called deleted. So this is not included um, in this whole code. So um, I will just uncomment it now to see that somewhere there we need to replace the, uh, the code with that image. So the next step is we're going to copy this code and paste that in our header.php because the method the method is not different. Go back to our cPanel again, and here after rail home, going to hit enter one time and then replace that code thing. Remember the images folder and the logo.php are all the same in our directory, and what different is that the width is uh, also the same. The difference is just the height. We're going to um, type in the original height of the image which is 44 and and then let's uh, hit, hit save changes. Now if we go rep uh, refresh our blog the image will be there but you see that your blog name is also there. You can leave it like it is it's no problem but if you go back to your code actually this blog info and name you can delete that it's not harming your site because of SEO thing because it is actually inside this old uh, tag for your image. So actually if I delete it now you will still see just delete it. Okay save changes and if we go back to our blog that text is gone and our logo is there but if you go to few page source and look for your image, you see that the alt of the image is actually your blog name. So it it is not harming your site because of the search engine optimization stuff. So your blog name will still be included in your page which is inside this image. So it will basically tell search engine what is your site about and your image telling them it's about blog web 6 demo. So going to close this view search file and you see that now we have our logo over there and the menu still stick. Um, what I mentioned earlier is that because if you upload say your image has uh, more height than 44 you I'm going to look for 50 for example and hit save changes and then refresh our blog. Sure enough the image is still there but if you scroll the menu is not there anymore because 2014 uh, theme has a different code and if you want to make it sticky with that height you need to modify a lot of CSS. So I just recommend that you upload the 
image not more than 44. Say now I'm going to uh, have height for 42 and save changes and hit refresh. The image has different height but the menu will still stick because um, it has the sticky menu. So go back to your cPanel again and I recommend that you going to upload the image and put the height exactly what the image has so it's uh, avoiding scaling uh, your image while your vis visitors are uh, visiting your site. So hit save changes and go back there again and it's displayed. So that's it guys how you can add logo in 2014 chart theme. So thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye!